Okay, let's talk about load testing an alternator or a charging system. We've got our little Hyundai Accent here and we are going to check this alternator and make sure that it is in good shape. Over here we've got our Ferret 40 load tester and this is a typical kind of old style carbon pile tester. I'm going to take our clamps and get this machine hooked up so that we can see if our charging system's working. Our negative to negative, positive to positive, and initially we could see that we're charging at about 14.4 volts. Okay, and that's great. Um, normal charging system voltage, whether you're at idle or, or off idle or, or, or whatever, the alternator typically ought to put out between 13.5 and, and 14.5 and volts. And we are definitely right there. Now over here on our amperage, we want to have a look at what uh, what's going on there. So we got to hook up our other clamp, our amp clamp. And what we need to do is we need to hook this up to the alternator output. Now we have a couple different choices here. Um, really, we could put it anywhere between the alternator and the battery. Okay, so that means we could clamp it around our positive battery post, or not post, but cable. We could clamp it around the negative cable because the alternator grounds to the battery over through this cable. Or we could put it around our output wire that you can see down here uh, coming off of our alternator. I typically like to put it down there the most because then it's it's kind of the most accurate. Um, so if I can reach down there and, and clamp that on, that's what we will try to do. So I'm just going to slide in here carefully between that hot exhaust manifold and the fan. And I'm going to clamp it around the wire. You can see down there. Okay. And now we are going to we are going to load this thing up. Now we need to raise our RPMs and we need to put a load on this alternator. We're going to use the carbon pile to load it up, but we need to we need to raise our RPMs. So if I can film all this at once, I'll just reach over here and we'll just grab the, the throttle. I'm going to hold this thing up to about 2500 or so. Then I'm going to turn our load control knob to turn on the load and you'll see amperage start to increase. And we want to go until the amperage quits climbing. Okay, 85, 80, 90, 100 maybe. Nope. Okay, amperage has stopped climbing. I'm going to back it off. Okay, so you saw our amperage got up to about 95 RPM, or sorry, 95 amps. And at that point, it quit climbing. Is that good? What's the, what's the, the normal specification for alternator output? Well, it depends on the alternator. I would imagine on a car like this, 95 amps is going to be pretty good. Most, most normal little cars like this are, oh, you know, between 75 and 100 amps. Bigger vehicles uh, might have an alternator that's rated for 120 amps. Um, some really special applications, like if this was an ambulance, we might see 250 amps. But anyway, I think 95 is probably going to be sufficient. So that's all there is to it. Now, if we wanted to get more specific, of course, we could go look it up. We could go look up what the specification was. But we've load tested this alternator. We know our voltage is good. We know our current is good. Now, I didn't mention the voltage when it was under load. That's not so important. Um, typically, if the voltage is going to fall off under load, the load is, or the, the, the current is, is, isn't gonna keep up. So I usually recommend looking at voltage output like this, not necessarily under load, and then loading it up to see how much amps the thing can actually produce. And I think in this case, this charging system is in perfectly good shape.